Hey, 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 welcome back to Impact Math with Miss Taylor. Alrighty, it says find the area of a rectangle. And this is for my ASVAB people, okay? So we don't get to use no calculators on the ASVAB. So for finding the area, remember area is length times width, okay? So what we have to do is we have to multiply these two numbers. So we have to do 15 times nine okay well nine times five is 45 and so just by us knowing that we can eliminate a and c okay because we know our number is going to end in a five and then nine times one is nine plus four is 13. so d is our answer that is the area of a rectangle Alrighty, i'll catch you on the next question Alrighty, so here's another way that they can ask you for the area of a rectangle. It says, what is the formula to identify the area of a rectangle? Okay, so remember a rectangle, in order for us to find the area, we have to do length times width. Okay, so B is our answer. But let's talk about this area. Remember, this will be the area formula for a triangle. Okay, area equals a half times base times height, all right? Perimeter, P stands for perimeter. So we automatically could have canceled C because that's a P and they're asked for area. So we need an A, okay? But this is the perimeter for four times S. That's a perimeter of a square because all the sides have to be the same. So that's why they say four times S. And then this area equals pi times r squared. That is the area of a circle, okay? So memorize these formulas, okay? Triangle, rectangle, square, perimeter, and area of a circle. All right, number three. What is the area of the trapezoid? Okay, so... In order for you to find the area of a trapezoid, you have to know the area formula. So it's a half times height and then base one plus base two, okay? This is the formula that you need for trapezoid, okay? The area of a trapezoid. So we can name this our B1 and this is our base two. And then this 10 right here would be our height. So now we're gonna plug and chug. So we're gonna do a half times, the height is 10, so we're gonna plug in 10 wherever we see a H. Then in our base one, we're gonna do seven plus our base two, which is 15, okay? So now this goes to an order of operations. You wanna work within your parentheses. So seven plus 15 is going to be 22. Keep the parentheses because you have a 10 attached to it. And we're gonna drop down this half. And then we have a half of 10, which is five. And then five times 22. So we're gonna do 22 times five. And five times two is 10. Okay, carry the one. And five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So C would be our answer. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching so far. I hope this is a blessing and a help to you. And let's do number four. Find the area of a circle whose radius of five centimeters. All right, so I always tell all my people, draw the figure that they're talking about. So you're gonna draw a circle. You have to understand this important vocab word right here, which is a radius. Okay, a radius is where you it's a line segment that starts in the middle of the circle and can go to any endpoint in the circle, okay? So this is a radius of five. So we're talking about area here. So the area formula for a circle is pi times r squared. So what we're gonna do is, now that we know our radius is five, we can plug that in to our formula. So we can say area equals pi, and then 
plug in five squared. Now this becomes like order of operation. So five squared is five times five. You gotta remember that, okay? And it's 25. And then we will say pi is 3.14 and so on, so on, so on. But we're gonna use 3.14 for pi. So we're gonna do 25 times 3.14 to see what our answer is. So five times four is 20, carry the two. Five times one is five plus two is seven. Five times three is 15. Put your placeholder because you're moving over to the, um, uh, what is this, 10 spots? One's tens, yeah. So two times four is eight. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. So we get a zero. Seven plus eight is 15. Carry the one. Five plus one is six, seven, eight. And then six plus one is seven. And so we're, this is the part that you have to understand. When you're multiplying um, a whole number by a decimal, you count the digits that are after the decimal, and that's how many places you're gonna move your decimal over. So it'd be 78.5. B would be our answer. Alrighty, let's go to the last one. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I hope this is blessing you and helping you. And let's get that score up on that test so you can get the most money. All right, number five, find the area of a triangle, okay? So our, our area formula, you have to have this memorized, is one half base times height, okay? So our base is gonna be this four. So that's what we're gonna plug in for our B. And then our height, okay, height is six. We're gonna plug that in. So we're gonna do one half times four times six, okay? A half of four is two times six would give us 12. So A would be our answer. Alrighty, have a wonderful blessed day and I most definitely will catch you on the next one. Bye!